Keep your clean room from becoming a money pit. How much does a clean room cost? A very popular question. Well, there are many specifications and factors you will need to take into account before building a brand new clean room. That's why a checklist is important before you invest in your clean room. First, you will need to determine which class, regulation, or guideline you must comply with. Next, you need to have a layout or sketch of your floor plan to properly determine emergency exits, mechanical rooms, and other important rooms related to your clean room activity. Other important aspects of your clean room services checklist include deciding what you will be doing in the room, which ISO class you must comply with, and what are the dimensions of the room. So how much does a clean room cost per square foot? The price per square foot is important when comparing options because it often changes depending on the type of clean room services needed. The price can vary from less than $100 to more than $1,000 per square foot. It's difficult to give an exact answer because calculations need to be done. Clean room classes are based on the number and size of particles allowed per volume of air. For example, the bigger the room, the lower the cost per square foot. You may also be wondering, what is required for a certified clean room? According to good manufacturing practices, compliant clean rooms require full flush design. However, you should consider these three most important aspects of a clean room. The first aspect is to know that the internal surfaces must all be smooth and impervious. GMP compliance requires that surfaces in a clean room do not create contamination upon themselves, which means no dust, peeling, or flaking of any kind that allows microorganisms to enter the atmosphere. Surfaces must also be easy to clean. The second aspect is the control and quality of the air throughout the room making sure that airborne contaminants are being kept out. Clean rooms require controlled temperature and humidity. This helps mitigate the risk of contamination in the particles. Particles tend to float around and slowly settle. A good clean room should provide filtered air that circulates often enough to flush out the particles in the facility. The third aspect includes the way the clean room is operated and the staff that is working in the facility. Strictly controlling access of employees in and out of the clean room reduces the risk of airborne contaminants. Most protocols make sure that only trained personnel enter the room, limiting the number. Even trained employees can end up being the most significant cause of any contamination. All must be taken into account when choosing clean room services. Clean room classes tend to be the most confusing part when choosing from different clean room services. It's important to understand cleanroom standards so that you can figure out which class will work best for your needs. For example, ISO stands for the International Organization for Standardization. These are essentially formulas that describe the best way of doing something, commonly agreed upon by experts around the world. Specifically, ISO 14644-1 determines the best practices for air cleanliness regarding cleanroom services. How can you make your cleanroom services decision easy? As you can see, there is a lot to take into account when asking how much does a cleanroom cost. But the good news is, you don't have to do this alone. Sure Biochem is here to handle all your cleanroom services, whether it's testing, monitoring, or assistance in understanding government standards. Our company can help. Sure Biochem Laboratories. Results you can be sure of. Be sure to visit the website or give us a call today.